all right so the program below this program is given in form of a pseudo code so the question says light a uh, draw the corresponding flow flow chart okay so uh so to begin drawing the flow chart so you're going to light to, you're going to draw an oval shape like that after drawing that oval shape you're going to, inside that oval shape you're going to say start okay like that so we are done with it start start so here we move on to this next step which says enter so enter you're going to draw a um, an arrow going down like that and then after doing that arrow we're going to draw a parallelogram like that nice and green like that so after doing that parallelogram you're going to light inside that program enter a for area so whenever you see enter you're going to light you're going to draw a parallelogram like that so enter is an input you're going to draw a parallelogram for an input so whenever you see enter or display you're supposed to draw a parallelogram so enter and display these are associated with uh, a parallelogram okay so we move on to the next step so we're done with this step we move on to this step all right so here we draw again an arrow going down like that okay so if area is less than zero okay so the key term the key word above is if area is less than zero all right so if if means there is a decision going there so the shape for a decision you're supposed to draw a lumbus like that and then inside of this lumbus inside of lighting if area is less than zero you suppose you're supposed to write is you ask a question you're supposed to write is um is a less than zero and then include the equation mark like that okay mm. so a then what are you supposed to do with the, this then so then whenever you see then you're supposed to draw an arrow like that and then on top of this arrow you say yes all right so like that so we are done with this step we move to this next step so a it says display error display error message a must be positive all right so a whenever you see display display is associated with a parallelogram like that so you're supposed to draw a parallelogram so after drawing this parallelogram and then you copy whatever you see here everything here so you copy this yeah so you're supposed to like this display 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 ela display ela message a must be positive okay like that so after this so you are done with this step we go, we go to this next step oh so here it says else enter height so whenever you see else you're supposed to draw an arrow going down there and then next to this arrow you say no all right so next to this arrow you say no so that's how we're supposed to deal with else so here again says enter height so else it's so associated with no and then enter remember enter we said you're supposed to draw a parallelogram like that okay and then inside this parallelogram you say enter what do you see here here there is height so in a this parallelogram we're supposed to light the h for height all right so we are done with this step so that's how you can do this so we move on to this next step which says if height is less than zero if height is less than zero then so if remember what you did with if a so if means there is a decision that is going there and then a decision uh, is associated with a lumbus a diamond shape like this so you draw a diamond shape and then you ask a question all right easy so a if height is less than zero so you're supposed to say if h is less than zero all right 
like mm -hmm. that and then you include the equation mark like that since it's a question so e remember remember that we uh, so here we have then then so remember that what we said whenever you see then you're supposed to draw an arrow like that and then on sub on top of this arrow you say yes all right so that's how you can do this and then so we are done with this step move on to this next step which says display error message h must be positive so display is associated with the a parallelogram like that so, so you draw a parallelogram like that using a ruler so and then you copy whatever you see here so it says display error message h must be positive so you copy whatever you see here display error message h must h must be positive like that all right so a we're done with this step we move on to this next step so a says else remember what you said about else else support is associated with it no all right so else so there's else there you say you do an arrow like that going down there and then next to this arrow you say no kokanya you say no so after lighting no here is if you can see there, there is a formula here we have a formula here which says volume is equals to area multiplied by a multiplied by height so what are, what are we supposed to do with this formula so this formula is supposed to draw a rectangle this time you're supposed to draw a rectangle for a formula so after drawing this rectangle inside this rectangle you say volume is equal to and then here we have area multiplied by height so you say a multiplied by h like that okay so and then so this means that we are done with this step move on to so here it says end if end if so we, we ignore this and if we move on to display volume all right so this is just an instruction end if and then display volume so we move on to this display volume so display you remember this you said it is an output so an output on input we draw a lumbus like that and then inside this lumbus you say display display volume oh sorry in this paradigm i mean in this paradigm you say display volume so this is a paradigm and then after light drawing that that uh, parallelogram you move on to this next step which says stop all right so stop and start are associated with this shape an oval shape so you draw an oval shape like that nice and clean and then inside this oval shape you say stop all right so that's how you can draw this thing uh, corresponding flow chart so if you have any question you have, feel free to drop them in the comment sections so this is how you can go about it this is um, 2019 GCE I think so this is 2019 GCE yeah don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching